Hi beautiful souls, welcome back to my channel wherever you are in the world today. It is a pleasure to have you here. First time viewers, my name is Kathy. I'm an intuitive holistic health coach, wellness mentor and spiritual guide and coming in this day beautiful souls with some beautiful messages at last. We've had a couple of weeks of some pretty serious heavy messages, releasing, purging, letting go, hanging in there, praying, you know, all kinds of things. A lot of the collective has been going through some very big shifts, some big things happening in the world, beautiful souls, as I've said before in previous messages. But these ones today, I was just like, thank you. First one out today, beautiful souls, is number 13, Abundance absolutely claim it believe it receive it i was like oh my goodness this will make a few people smile out there number 13 abundance you know they're sitting under this beautiful fruit tree it's just got golden fruit all through it right friends sitting under here underneath the tree um we, we've got feathers they're just saying that you know the white feathers beautiful souls you might be seeing these as confirmations and clarifiers you know phone calls books I've talked about this before in previous messages some of you may be receiving um, great news positive news via a text message an email a phone call beautiful souls others of you Maybe you're journaling at this time, you know, drawing in that energy of what you're wanting to create. Maybe some of you are writing books, you're learning, maybe you're doing courses or studying at this time, whatever that means. And the little words at the bottom are faith, optimism, excitement, and breakthrough. Faith, optimism, excitement, and breakthrough. And beautiful souls, you know, the, the shadow side of this is obviously doubt, pessimism, mundane and misfortune. So maybe I know that's how a lot of you have been feeling lately. Um, it hasn't been the start of the year that we were all expecting, but we have just moved into the Chinese Lunar New Year, the year of the dragon, beautiful souls. March is technically... If you look up a lot of biblical um, prophecies and a lot of uh, historical, um, like people that study history and things like that, they actually say that March is the beginning of the year. So again, beautiful souls, and they're just saying springtime. So again, for those of you in the Northern Hemisphere, springtime is going to be very fruitful for you. And for those of us in the Southern Hemisphere, we're about to drop into autumn. Again, this could be springtime for us, you know, uh, in September, October, November. It could also be now. So take it as it resonates, right? Time is just an illusion, but they just keep showing me the fruit and the green grass. So number 13, abundance, beautiful souls. It was clarified by point of view number 30 so this um, it's like a mirror image right so this could have been you maybe it still is you still feeling quite despondent still quite heavy when are things going to go in my you know when are things going to go in my direction when are things going to turn around for the positive here's this feather beautiful souls when i got the two of them together i mean look at this the synergy between the two of them and obviously we've got masculines in this fig in these pictures but again my beautiful divine feminines and queens out there take it as it resonates we also carry masculine and feminine but again beautiful souls the feather synergy in both of these cards right two male figures in both of these cards right and this is what i was saying the point of view shifting your perspective at this time whether things are still looking a little bit this way do not panic because very soon shortly now in this moment claim it bring it in with a shift in perspective, which it, with a change in point of view, things can turn around. Things are turning around, beautiful souls. Like they're literally just saying back to back. One minute you're going to be in this energy, the next minute you're going to be here. And again, as I said before, in this first card, receiving good news, you know, out of the blue, they just said to me, out of the blue, good news coming in, phone calls, emails, text messages, 
some communication or some description that is also going to flip the script for many of you out there. Let's get into these messages, beautiful souls. Abundance, right? The term abundance most people associate with is financial success. And again, who doesn't want a little bit more moolah in the bank, beautiful souls, but abundance in all forms, and that is true. However, abundance can also be experienced as a great deal of love in your life, right? It can also manifest itself as vibrant health or wonderful opportunities, that lead to financial prosperity in the future. Abundance is manifesting itself in your life right now. Enjoy all of the ways that the universe is blessing you right now. Maybe some of you need to put that in the comments. Abundance is manifesting itself in my life right now. Abundance is manifesting itself in my life right now. When this card shows up, the angels are currently helping you to shift your perspective, oh my goodness, on the concept of abundance. They just said abundance blocks. So many of you may have been working through a blocks in abundance and prosperity. This could have been through your family lineage, your family bloodline, ancestral, could have been, you know, old belief patterns, old thought patterns, things that you experienced as a child, you know, scarcity, lack, poverty, whatever that is, hardship, they're just saying as well. And you have been doing the work, beautiful souls, to shift that. The angels are also coming in at this time to assist you as well. There you go. Old thoughts related to lack and unworthiness are exerting themselves and may have been clouding your judgment. This may have caused you to miss out on opportunities that may be presenting themselves because you don't see their value or importance. And again, beautiful souls, what a perfect synergistic match here. So again, the angels are also coming in at this time, right, to shift you out of this right giving you these little signs and symbols that they are around you and helping you at this time to shift you into this energy so that you can receive look he's even got the feather there's another feather sitting on his chest on his t-shirt while he's smiling looking at his phone him or her fellas obviously um, but beautiful souls shifting you out of that mindset Sometimes, as I said, we get in that vortex and it can just bring us down very, very quickly. Try to approach life from a place of gratitude, allowing yourself to attract more abundance of all kinds into your life. I've talked about journaling before, beautiful souls, a gratitude journal at the end of the day writing down at least three things in your day that you are truly honestly grateful for things that went right you woke up that's my first one every single day thank you for waking me up thank you for waking my daughter up thank you that we are healthy thank you that we have a home a roof over our head food in our fridge car to drive money in the bank or whatever it is ten fingers ten toes two arms two legs Things, beautiful souls, that we often take for granted that other people who don't have them would be truly, honestly, it would be a game changer for them. Yet we take them for granted on a daily basis. Some of you may need to go back to journaling at night, especially before you go to bed, because the energy that you go to sleep in, beautiful souls, listening to money meditations, Right, this has come up with some of my private guidance sessions with people. You know, getting into the vortex of flow 
of receiving and of abundance, even if it's not showing up in your physical world just yet. It is coming. They're sitting under this beautiful, big fruit tree with all of these golden, look like pears, beautiful souls. Pears might even be a signifier for you at this time. Pears might be your favorite fruit. Whatever it is, beautiful souls, there is a season of abundance coming, drawing it in. Gratitude opens the key. Color activations, gold and green. Maybe you need to start working with some more of these colors, beautiful souls. I've talked about color therapy before in some of my other sessions and my other videos. Colors, beautiful souls, wearing them, wearing gold jewelry if you've got any, wearing green right? Gold energy will help you clarify your commitment to any vision. The color green will open all forms of communication and help attract prosperity into your life through situations or people. Beautiful souls. I'm just going to hold that card there for a moment. White feathers journaling on gratitude happiness receiving phone calls maybe at night going to bed beautiful souls or during the day looking at your phone you know and putting that energy out there of receiving great news positive outcomes to search certain situations that you've been going through beautiful souls financial increase you know collaborations partnerships business opportunities additional sales whatever that means for you abundance is always all around you at all times shifting your perspective beautiful souls number 30 right they're just saying in receiving mode, hands in the air to heaven, we're in full receiving mode, hands out, hands outstretched. Congratulations on your ability to see the positive in all situations of your life. And maybe beautiful souls, as I said before, you know, some of you may have been, you know, and I'll put my hands up there multiple times over in the past or maybe even right now where you've had your head literally in your hands, you know, literally despondent, not being able to see or feel any positivity around your situation, especially if it's tied to finances or money at this time. Your connection to the divine is powerful and your faith is strong. Faith and trust, beautiful souls. Got to have faith. And again, journaling. I am so happy now that. I am so grateful now that. I can't believe. Isn't it wonderful that? Um, you know, there's plenty of meditations on YouTube as well, beautiful souls. Playing abundance frequency music, you know, 888, 963, whatever it is for you, or specific money or abundance meditations, I truly feel is going to help shift many of you at this time. And it's also, they're just saying, amp going to amplify that energy. The angels are encouraging you to keep this positive momentum going from a grateful heart oh my goodness in all aspects of your existence right we place so much on money and materialism and finances and all of the things beautiful souls but being truly grateful for every single thing that you have in your life you're already abundant you already have things around you right to show that you are abundant, right? So again, staying in that energy as much as possible. It could have been difficult sometimes to have seen positives in a situation that may have been causing you great distress. That is just human. The message of this card is that even in the darkest hours, there is always wisdom there is always strength and there is always compassion that is raining down upon you from the divine. Now he's got his hands right up underneath this beautiful white light, beautiful souls. 
the feather. The angels are all around you at this time, right? Trying to disengage, try to disengage, sorry, from the thoughts that are causing you any anxiety at this time by doing something that brings you joy. Maybe it's sitting in the park this weekend, beautiful souls, you know, with your book, gratitude book, writing down or, you know, planning your next steps, you know, putting these things down, pen to paper. I've talked about that before. Many of the big manifestation gurus talk about it, the power of the pen, the power of writing it out, not typing it on a keyboard. Yes, that has some, some strength behind it, beautiful souls, but actually writing it out. What do you want to bring into your life right now? What are three things that you truly want to manifest into your life right now? Start to write and journal on them, beautiful souls. Ask your angels to show you the meaning behind these situations to help resolve it. Color activations turquoise and white now that came out at the beginning of the week i believe with archangel sandolphin correct me if i'm wrong beautiful souls talking about the color turquoise and the color white turquoise energy invokes a deep kindness in your soul it allows you to rise above anything and everything to see the hidden meanings the color white gives you emotional and spiritual clarity. Beautiful souls cannot make this up, the two of them together. So again, beautiful souls, male or female, but this is very heavily masculine in these cards. So again, if you've been in this energy, beautiful souls, shifting your point of view, shifting your perspective, looking for the signs from above that are showing you that your angels and guides are with you at this time, calling in abundance, calling in these phone calls, these emails, these text messages, right? Journaling, talking about, writing out your gratitude lists, what you're wanting to manifest at this time and staying in this fruitful energy, they're saying, beautiful souls, calling it in at this time because it's right here, right here, right now, springtime again, for, for those of you in the Northern Hemisphere, especially at this time. Beautiful souls, hit me up in the comments, claim it, believe it, receive it. First time viewers, if you feel divinely led, hit that little notifications bell, subscribe to my channel. And of course, if you love that message, hit the little thumbs up button below, beautiful souls. Send it out in the YouTube algorithm, letting other souls be drawn to this message at this time. You know, we're here to help everybody on the planet. Whoever is resonating with this message will always find it at the right time. Beautiful souls, go have the most beautiful, blessed, abundant day. Abundance is all around you. Maybe that's another comment to put in the, in the comments box below. Abundance is all around me. I am in full receiving mode. Sending you all so much love and I'll see you in here for the next one. Bye for now.